Hey guys, and welcome to week two of Two Minute Tuesdays. Two Minute Tuesdays, if you don't know yet, but you should know now, is a new uh, playlist that we've started, a series of videos explaining a new topic to you in just two minutes. And today's topic is um, coming straight from the comments. Uh, the user who suggested this, uh, this question is uh, listed below uh, here, whatever the name is. I don't actually know, because the Wendy will just like put them, put them into montage later and somehow sort it out, but I'll just, I'll just point the finger there because that's where they'll appear. Uh, anyway, so that user suggested the question, uh, the difference between American universities versus UK universities. And the two minutes starts now. Okay, so uh, I guess the most obvious, the biggest difference between UK and America is that in America, all courses, a majority of courses are four years. In the UK, there are three years. So basically, you know, you finish uni sooner in the UK and you can start work and earning and paying a massive, humongous, uh, you know, mountain of debt, uh, you know, much earlier. However, in America, um, there is more flexibility. So in the UK, whilst you do a three-year course, which is shorter, there is a lot less flexibility in terms of what to do and if you want to switch courses, whatever. You know, you can't really, and it's quite a difficult process. Um, in America, it's a lot easier. And in your first year of university, you can do a lot of picking and choosing and then gradually specialize and sort of you know, narrow down your focus and then you know, kind of narrow down on the particular area or two areas that you want to do. And uh, you know, which is why in America, you have something called major and the minor. And major is, is what you spend majority of your time on. And minor is, surprise, surprise, what you spend minority of your time on. So you can graduate from university in, uh, in America with a major in finance and a minor in fine art, you know, for example. In the UK, that's not really possible. You know, if you're studying economics here, then from day one, it goes from zero to 100 very, very quickly, and you're studying that subject all the time. So if six weeks uh, into your university degree, you realize that actually you hate economics and you hate your professors and you hate, uh, you know, the people who you live with, like tough. Uh, there isn't really as much flexibility. In America, there is a lot more flexibility and you can indeed change. And I think the third and the most uh, important difference between UK and America is just uh, cultural, in terms of, of your social life, in terms of people being outgoing, in terms of activities and, and stuff you can get involved in. Um, in America, on campus, there is a lot more to do because universities take a much more proactive role in organizing campus life. In the UK, it's a bit more hit and miss, and you can either be very, very busy or not very busy at all. Let us know what you think, guys, and uh, good luck.